the back of my woods. What the heck is that? Oh Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Classified Capture. Steve here, and today I've got a collection of clips ranging from a Bigfoot attacking some men that invaded its space to trees moving from one point to the other. Ready to be shocked? Well, let's jump in. Our first video of the day is from a woman who was hiking in the woods one morning. There's absolutely nothing wrong with going for hikes if the area is safe. We can say the same for this lady, however, as she started feeling uneasy like someone was watching her while she was out on her hike. Typically, people run when they feel threatened, but she took out her camera and looked around. Despite her best efforts to find whoever was stalking her, she found no one, or at least that's what she thought until she noticed something strange. Ahead of her, between two trees, was a shimmering area, almost like a glass. Something was there with her, but it wasn't clearly visible. It was as if the air itself was bending or cloaking whatever it was. Some who have seen the footage claim it could be a cloaked alien or some form of advanced camouflage. Others suggest it might even be a portal to another dimension. I'm not particularly sure about this one, but what do you think? While you think about that, this blurry video was shared by a homeowner who was reviewing his ring camera footage. It was a typical and usual activity for him, only this time he would find something unusual. In the footage, an odd figure or object can be seen flying by. It's hard to make out exactly what it is, but its movements don't match anything typical like a bird, plane, or drone. The object appears to zip across the screen quickly before vanishing into the distance. The homeowner insists the footage is not edited or manipulated in any way, but he admits that he has no idea what he captured. With footage this unclear, it's always tough to say for sure what we are seeing, but it raises questions about the many unexplained objects that people catch on their cameras. Some who've seen the clip speculate that it could be a UFO or some form of extraterrestrial technology, while others think it might be a strange atmospheric phenomenon. You've seen the clip as well, so what do you think this could be? This image was taken by a mother while she and her son were exploring the Cougar Mountains in Washington. The boy, mesmerized by the glowing aurora borealis lights above, raised his hands toward the sky and told his mother that he was trying to reach out and touch his angel. Moved by the innocent gesture, she decided to capture the moment, not realizing how extraordinary it would later appear. When she reviewed the capture, she was shocked to discover something she hadn't seen before. It was a strange hand reaching down from the sky toward her son, almost mirroring his own outstretched hands. Could it be that the boy truly saw his angel? Could it be a sinister spirit or being? Or did she lie about them not editing the clip? Julius, of course, believes it's the latter, but what if, just what if, they're telling the truth? What is the point of going for a walk in the middle of the night? Can someone tell me? You'd think with all the strange things we hear, people would stop because it's clearly dangerous, but no. A woman recently posted this bizarre footage she'd taken while walking her dog. 
In the clip, she's behind the camera, filming the path as they stroll through the wooded area. All seems quiet until, out of nowhere, a dog starts acting strange. It refuses to move forward, staring off to the side, clearly distressed. Despite this, she tries to urge the dog to continue. Later, when she got home and reviewed the footage, she noticed something chilling. There on the side of the path was a very tall, dark figure with an unnervingly pale face staring directly at her. She believes the dog might have either spotted or sensed the figure and that was the reason it was acting out of character. Luckily for her, she made it home safely. It's hard to say what the figure was, but some think it's a creature of the night. Some, including my team members, think the whole thing was set up. For now, we can only speculate as we will never know the truth. Whatever the case, sometimes it's best to trust your dog's instincts. What do you think it could have been? Come on, Grace. The expression, two left feet, has always been used to describe people like me who can't dance to save their lives. In our next clip, however, it's literal. This shoe's still on the wrong foot. So then I do it again. What the f Yep, that's a young lad wearing two left shoes. Whenever he swaps the feet, one fits and the other doesn't. He repeated this several times, which led to him filming and uploading it online. I know what you're thinking. Why did he buy two shoes for the same feet? The thing is, he didn't. His shoes were pretty normal until they weren't. He put them on one day and they just wouldn't fit. This is why he uploaded it online. A part of him believes that this whole thing is a glitch in the Matrix. Some who saw the clip shared the view. You've seen the clip. What do you think of it? This shoe's still on the wrong foot. So then I do it again. What the f Next up, we got a man who was filming the night sky at an undisclosed location when something absolutely baffling occurred. Out of nowhere, an apparition of a figure dressed in a white robe with what looked like wings on its back appeared right above the electrical lines. As if that wasn't strange enough, the moment the figure showed up, the electrical currents began sparking along the wires, making a distinct zapping sound. This went on for a few seconds. Then, as mysteriously as it appeared, the figure vanished, and at that exact moment, the zapping stopped. Obviously, this isn't natural or normal, and all who saw the clip believed so. So what on earth was that? Was it some form of energy disturbance, or did we just witness something otherworldly? Many in the paranormal community are divided on what that being was. A small sect made up of Julius-like individuals believes the whole thing is a poorly designed hoax. Looking at the clip again, I get where they're coming from, but what do you guys think? While you share your thoughts on that, we have another intriguing piece of footage that is people talking about cloaked objects in the sky. Take a look. In the bright blue sky, there's this odd cloud formation. At first glance, it seems just like any other cloud, but something about it looks, well, off. Its shape is too precise, too deliberate. Some are suggesting that it's not a cloud at all, but a cloaked object, something trying to blend in with the atmosphere. It's hard to dismiss when you really look at it. Could this be a UFO using advanced cloaking technology, or is it just an unusual cloud formation? Aaron's money is on the ladder. What about you? And while you wrestle with the authenticity of that clip, this next one doesn't make things easier. Take a look.
Yes, sirree, that's not connected to any gas outlet, yet somehow there's a fire which has confused even the individual holding it. When I saw this, I felt there must be a little gas left in the tube. But even if that's the case, well, shouldn't it have run out or the strength of the flame decreased a little at least? Well, Julius couldn't believe me and refused to comment on this, so I'm on my own. Or am I? Can you guys share your thoughts? Do you think this is truly a supernatural feat, or is there some logical explanation behind this? The property owner was jolted awake one night by strange noises coming from his backyard, which backed onto a dense forest. Curious and unsettled, he decided to investigate, grabbing his camera as he stepped outside. I'm hearing the things in my woods again. I've been hearing the uh, sounds in the back of my woods. What the heck is that? At first, he saw nothing. The yacht appeared still in the airy darkness. He was about to give up, thinking the noises had been nothing more than a passing animal or the wind, when something in the grass caught his eye. There, crouched low, was a creature unlike anything he'd ever seen. Its shoulders looked somewhat human, but its neck, long and crooked and unnervingly skinny, was far from normal. This creature's eyes glowed intensely in the dark, radiating an unnatural light that pierced the shadows. As he stared, he couldn't shake the feeling that this was no animal, nor anything remotely human. I mean, looking at the clip, it definitely doesn't look ordinary. It gives me the same vibe or feeling those alleged rake clips give. Is it authentic, though? That's a whole conversation on its own. Anyway, what do you think? I'm hearing the things in my woods again. I've been hearing the uh, sounds in the back of my woods. What the heck is that? A group of hunters ventured deep into the woods on a mission to capture evidence of a yowie, a creature often described as Australian's version of a Bigfoot. They were prepared with infrared cameras and set up camp, waiting through the night. While the cameras went off a few times, alerting them to movement, the hunters never actually saw the creature with their own eyes. However, when they reviewed the images the next day, they found something chilling. In one of the photos, there was a massive creature standing right by them in the dark. Somehow, it had managed to get close without any of the hunters noticing. The infrared camera had captured what their senses had missed. What do you make of this? Could this be real evidence of the elusive Yaoi, or is there another explanation? There are old legends that speak of a massive monster slumbering deep beneath the earth, some kind of doomsday creature destined to rise and end the world. Most dismiss these as mere myths, but then there's this footage which raises chilling questions. A man came across a strange opening in the ground, a structure that seemed to descend deep into the earth. Curious, he decided to toss a small stone into the hole and listen for what might happen next. At first, there was silence, just the faint sound of the stone falling deeper and deeper into the abyss. But then something happened. A loud, ground-shaking roar echoed from the depths. It wasn't the sound of the stone hitting something hard. No, this was different. It was a primal, guttural noise, almost as if a massive beast stirred below. If this is to be believed and the myths of old are true, then we can't help but wonder what lies beneath our feet, and how long before it breaks free. Aaron has theories, and Julius thinks we're crazy. What about you?
A man was out fishing at Sali Lake, nestled by the Navajo Mountains, when he captured something extraordinary. From a distance, there was a large hairy creature. You can clearly make out the domed head and broad shoulders. According to the man, this was no ordinary animal. He insists it was a Bigfoot, and he saw it moving through the landscape. The creature's size and distinct movements left little doubt in his mind. I mean, the area isn't known to have any primates, so there's no way to fault his claim. Naturally, the online community can't seem to come to a unanimous decision concerning its authenticity. A large majority, however, believe it's the real deal, but what say you? It's been a while, but I've got a bonus segment for you. You know the part where you get the chance to tell me something unique about what's on your screen, and we send you a shout-out at the end of the month. Yeah, that one. Do you know what this is? Can you tell if it's real or not? If it's real, can you tell me exactly what it is and one interesting fact about it? Start your response in the comments section with the word bonus and I'll highlight the best answers at the end of the month. Good luck and all the best. The brain relies heavily on muscle memory, which is how we manage to move through our daily routines with ease. This next footage demonstrates how even the smallest change can disrupt that muscle memory. Take a look at these people climbing a staircase. Each time they reach a particular step, at least one person stumbles. You may be wondering why this keeps happening. Well, here's the reason. That specific step is slightly different in height compared to the rest. As people ascend, their brains have already calculated the rhythm and stride they need for the steps. But when they encounter a different one, it throws them off balance, causing them to stumble. It's fascinating how our brain and body work in sync through muscle memory. Even the smallest deviation can disrupt our usual patterns. A woman shared a chilling encounter she experienced while standing outside on her gazebo one night. She admits she almost didn't believe it herself had it not been for the security camera footage that captured her reaction. Let's take a look. There she was, standing on the gazebo, casually typing away on her phone while her dog fetched a ball that she'd just thrown. Everything seemed perfectly normal, until it wasn't. Suddenly, she turns around sharply and lets out a scream, her face visibly alarmed. According to her, the reason for her startled reaction was that she felt a tap on her shoulder, followed by a voice that sent chills down her spine. Strangely, the footage doesn't capture any visible figure or presence, yet a terrified response feels unmistakably real. What are your thoughts on this alleged encounter? <laughs> In this next clip, we have a compilation of security footage captured at a military base in Lima, Peru. These airy ghostly figures were spotted moving all over the base. Just take a look at that. The way these figures glide across the screen is unnerving, almost as if they're not bound by the same physical rules we are. But what could they be? Are they ghosts, remnants of some past event haunting the grounds, or could they be something else entirely, cloaked alien creatures perhaps hiding in plain sight? What do you think these figures might be, ghosts, aliens, or something else altogether?
This very disturbing footage was recently shared by a group of men who had set out one night in search of a mysterious and elusive creature. Equipped with a flashlight and a camera, they were trekking through the dark when the unexpected happened. As they walked, the camera caught something eerie in the distance. Just look at that. A shadowy figure moving past, unmistakably something out of the ordinary. One of the men shouted his alarm to his friends, and that seemed to provoke the creature. Within seconds, it launched toward the group, knocking the camera to the ground. You can hear the commotion as the camera briefly captures the creature walking off, leaving the scene in silence. Thankfully, the men weren't seriously injured and managed to get home safely, but this footage, it's intense and unsettling. The creature almost seems too real to be dismissed as a hoax. Its movement and sudden aggression leave little room for doubt. The fact that the men were that close to it and made it out unscathed, however, leaves a lot of room for doubt and speculation. Anyway, what do you think? This image, taken in 2020 by a man hiking with his dog in Oklahoma, captures something unsettling. It is a decayed creature's head with part of its mouth gone, revealing its powerful jaws. At first glance, many might think it's the remains of a large dog, but there's something about the structure that has raised doubts. Some members of the paranormal community are convinced that this is no ordinary animal. They speculate that the head belongs to something far more mysterious, possibly a Bigfoot or the infamous Dogman. The jaws are unusually strong-looking, and the decayed appearance makes it hard to identify what the creature once was. Could this be a long-lost creature or something stranger, or is it just a misidentified animal? Speaking of misidentified animals, a bulldog owner thinks it might just be a bulldog, but then again, that's just speculation. What do you guys think? This video was captured in Brighton, Ontario back in 2023. A woman noticed something incredibly strange in the sky. There appeared to be two moons. One of them was bright and unmistakable, likely the actual moon. However, further ahead in the sky, there was another round glowing sphere that looked eerily similar. The second orb was much dimmer, but its shape and positioning made it stand out. What could this mysterious second object be? Could it be a reflection, a celestial event, or something entirely different? Aaron's money is on it being an alien craft, but then again, it's purely speculation. What say you? A man was out one night putting something into his car when his security camera captured something chilling. Take a look. Just there behind the car in the darkness, a large ghostly figure appears to be moving. You can see the man noticing it too as his eyes follow the movement of the entity passing by. To confirm what he saw, the man reviewed the security footage and there it was again. The figure, ghostly and unsettling, moves in the shadows behind the car. Now, the question he keeps asking is, what was that figure? Was it a ghost or perhaps some other sort of entity just passing by? Jinn are often described as elusive and mystical creatures in various traditions, particularly in Middle Eastern folklore. They're sometimes seen as spirits or demons possessing powers beyond human comprehension. In this particular incident, a group of men were out one night when they noticed something peculiar in the darkness, a floating white head with eerie glowing eyes and flowing white hair. 
While the men insist this encounter was legitimate, others are more skeptical, suggesting it could be a prank or hoax. The head does resemble a mask, but what do you guys think? Oh my god! Look, 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 look! Oh my word! We've definitely seen our fair share of weird things in the sky, but what is this? Can anyone explain it to me? We see a massive, thick, black cloud or smoke, and through it we see flames shining. The strangest part is that it looks like some sort of grillo structure descending toward the earth. I've never seen anything like this before. There's no small capture on a trail cam. This is something huge. Huge things can barely be hidden. This has made even Aaron skeptical this is authentic. He thinks if something like this happened on the planet, it would be in mainstream media. Julius just thinks it's CGI, and I'm tempted to go with him on this one, but what do you guys think? Anito. Oh my god. Anito, litsi, litsi, litsi. Look, 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 look. Oh my word. The Tesla empire is undeniably a major force in advanced human technology, particularly in the realm of electric vehicles and renewable energy. Their innovations are impressive, from cutting-edge autopilot systems to sustainable energy solutions. However, with such rapid progress, there are bound to be issues that arise, and Tesla has had its fair share of complaints. Recently, while in traffic, someone captured footage of a blue Tesla car with a bloated back end. It's unclear what caused this but incidents like this do raise questions about the reliability and durability of Tesla vehicles. People are left wondering if the benefits of owning such an advanced machine outweigh the potential risks. How many of us here own or would love to own a Tesla? What do you make of these videos? Do you consider them a cause for concern or do you think people are just exaggerating make new technology look bad? Kindly share your thoughts in the comments section. Black magic and voodoo have always been curious and controversial practices, often associated with rituals that raise many questions. When I first saw this clip, I couldn't help but wonder if it was connected to voodoo or black magic. The video starts off looking like someone preparing meat to cook. After adding spices, they place two dolls in red dresses on the meat. Then they cut something else and tied the dolls together, securing them into the meat with more spices. After that, the person wraps the meat with a red rope, covers it in a red cloth, and ties it again. The meat is then placed in a cooking tray surrounded by vegetables. And here's the unsettling part. Candles are placed all around the tray on the floor. What could this mean? It feels like a ritual, but whether it's related to voodoo or something else entirely is unclear. In many cultures, red is a color linked to power, blood, or intense emotions like love and rage. And dolls, especially in voodoo, are often used symbolically. Could this be some sort of ritual for binding, protection, or harm? What do you think is the purpose behind this bizarre act? Could anyone with experience in this share them with us? The ocean truly is one of the most mysterious places on Earth, covering vast territories that remain unexplored. There have been countless stories and legends of giant sea creatures lurking in the deep, with many yet to be discovered or confirmed by science. 
Recently, some fishermen made headlines when they reportedly reeled in a giant creature. From the footage, it appears to resemble a massive snake with a fish tail, an odd and eerie combination. While the ocean holds many secrets, this footage looks more like a fabrication. The creature's appearance is strange, almost too bizarre to be believed. Julia screamed, fake, and I wanted to chastise him for this, but not without having evidence. When I started scrutinizing the clip, I noticed something I hadn't noticed before. There's something funny going on with the hands of the one closest to the camera. Now, I'm not calling it fake, but these things typically happen to clips created or edited with the AI, so what do you think? Real or fake? What would you do if you found a child walking alone late at night? While you think of your answer, watch this. Two friends on a late night bike ride came across a girl walking alone in the middle of the road. She was neatly dressed with her black hair tied in a ponytail and didn't appear to be homeless or in distress, yet something felt off. She was completely unresponsive to the men's attempts to speak with her. She just stared at them, and when they talked, she silently turned and continued walking. Strangely, the girl seemed to be glowing in the dark. <laughs> yes, glowing. One of the men got off his bike and approached her, but his friend who was filming urged him not to. The footage cuts off at that point, leaving everyone to wonder who or what was this girl. Some people speculate she could have been sleepwalking, but that doesn't explain the eerie glow. Humans don't naturally glow, after all. Others believe she could be a spirit or something supernatural, considering how unusual the encounter was. What would you have done in this situation? Would you have approached the glowing child or let her walk on into the night? It'd be interesting to hear your perspective, unless, of course, you don't think this is authentic and the glow was placed into the clip digitally. Anyway, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Some people have extraordinary body features, but what we are looking at here seems almost unbelievable. In the footage, someone is pulling and stretching the skin on their leg like it's elastic, almost like rubber. It's hard to believe that this is even possible. However, there are skin conditions that can explain this. Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, or EDS for short, is one example. It's a rare genetic disorder that affects connective tissues, making the skin super stretchy and fragile. Among other symptoms, however, the extreme elasticity in this video makes it look almost like silicon or synthetic material. Anyway, what are your thoughts on it? A man came home one day to find one of these orbs inside his house. It was glowing and emitted a low buzzing sound, almost as if it was electrical. The orb floated around the room, but he did well to keep his distance. He didn't dare get as close as it drifted through his home. In another case, a different homeowner captured footage of a glowing orb at his doorstep. It hovered outside for a short while before zipping away into the woods at lightning speed. All around the world, people report seeing mysterious glowing orbs. These spheres have baffled witnesses for years, with some speculating they're balls of lightning, while others are convinced they're linked to extraterrestrial activity. These encounters raise so many questions. Are these orbs truly real? If they are, are they just rare forms of lightning or could they be something more, perhaps some kind of alien technology or entity? Have answers? Well, share them with us in the comments section if you would. Trees are living things, and while we know they grow and change over time, walking has never been part of their typical behavior until now, apparently. Mm -hmm. 
Take a look at these clips. Multiple trees have been caught on camera moving, not just swaying with the wind, but literally shifting from place to place. It almost seems unreal. Just look at that. Some skeptics claim this might be an illusion caused by camera angles or environmental factors like strong winds, but others believe there's something stranger at play. There are also some who laugh at these clips, claiming there's no way such a thing could be real. So what do you think the situation is currently? Could it be a natural phenomenon we've yet to understand, or perhaps some kind of trickery? Share your thoughts in the comments section. As the days go by, the conversation around UFOs seems to be getting more serious and undeniable. Just take a look at this footage. A passenger flying over New York was filming out of the window when something strange happened. A flat object zipped by at high speed. It's so clear and sudden that it leaves little room for doubt. More and more, we're seeing footage like this, where not only eyewitness accounts, but even radar recordings capture these identified flying objects. It's becoming harder to dismiss them as just hoaxes or tricks of the light. What do you think is happening here? Could this be proof that we're not alone, or is there still some rational explanation? A man lived in a house that he believed to be haunted, having experienced many strange sightings over the years. But one day, something truly unsettling happened. As he arrived home and looked through the metal gate leading to his front door, he saw what appeared to be a hand resting behind the door inside the house. Startled, he rushed in, expecting to find someone, maybe an intruder or, worse yet, confirmation of the ghostly presence he'd always suspected. He flung the door open. But there was no one there. The house was empty and he was completely alone. The hand had vanished without a trace. What could you have done, assuming this is very real and authentic, of course? A couple had just welcomed their baby girl, and like many new parents, they set up a camera in the nursery to keep an eye on her. The nursery door was always left slightly ajar just in case, but one night, while they were fast asleep, something terrifying unfolded on the monitor. In the dead of night, three loud thumps were heard. Then, without warning, the nursery door slammed shut with an eerie bang. Moments later, the same thumping sound returned, but that wasn't the worst of it. Out of nowhere, a dark, shadowy entity appeared over the crib where their baby was sleeping. The figure loomed ominously above her, its form shifting in the dim light. Then, as if deliberately, it moved the toy that had been resting at her feet in the crib. This chilling presence hovered for what seemed like an eternity before finally vanishing into thin air. What was that dark entity? A spirit? A shadow being? Or something else entirely? This man is walking down a hallway when out of nowhere a dark shadowy figure rushes into him, knocking him hard against the wall. 
He stumbles backwards, clearly caught off guard, but the unsettling part is what happens next. The shadow appears to grab him, dragging him across the floor and around the corner of the hallway. The man struggles with the shadowy figure, desperately trying to break free. For a moment, it looks like he might not escape, but after a tense struggle, he finally manages to free himself. Without wasting a second, he bolts out of there, leaving us to wonder, what was that thing? Was it something paranormal or an illusion? What do you think? Could this be a case of a malevolent spirit or something else entirely? Moving on to UFOs, there are indeed other sources of evidence that suggest these phenomena are very real. Take, for instance, the fragments that have been recovered from alleged UFO crash landing sites. When these fragments are examined by experts, they found an unusually high percentage of magnesium. This is a material that, while present on Earth, is extremely rare in such high concentrations. What makes this even more intriguing is the speculation surrounding these materials. Some researchers believe that the unique compound position of these fragments could be linked to gravity manipulation, possibly explaining how these crafts are able to move at such incredible speeds and defy known laws of physics. Continuing our exploration of intriguing little beings, feast your eyes on this upcoming footage. Did you catch that? As the footage begins, the cameraman approaches a tree, their hands trembling visibly. But don't jump to conclusions, it's not Parkinson's at play. Instead, it appears the camera is zoomed in to the absolute maximum. After a few moments, the cameraman's fascination becomes evident. Some black fingers appear on the tree, hiding a body behind them. Despite the cameraman's best attempts, we never see the body. In the last few seconds, however, two glowing eyes hidden within the trees look at him. And so, a veil of uncertainty shrouds the scene, leaving us pondering. What manner of creature could this be? Someone in the comments section of the original post states that it's an Ewok, if you watch Star Wars, you should know what they are, but some commentators more grounded in reality stated it was a raccoon. I'm tempted to lean in with the raccoon hypothesis, but what do you think? Stepping away from the world of amazing giant animals, let's take a step into what many consider the paranormal realm. It starts off like your ordinary trail cam footage of the forest landscape at night. The dead silence of the night, however, makes it clear that we should expect more and we are not disappointed. From nowhere, a creature of the night emerges, moving on all fours. My initial reaction? A skinwalker, perhaps. But alas, skinwalkers aren't exactly known for their slender frames. T.S. unsettling movements reveal it's no skinwalker, but rather a contender for something even more unsettling, a possible rake. The skinny long arms and the possibly white and smooth skin make us think that this is the case. But is it really? Well, we'd like your opinion on this one. So what do you think? Ah, the mysteries of trail cameras always ready to capture the unexpected. In this particular image nestled among the trees, there's something truly intriguing. It's a creature, no doubt, and it appears to be rather massive, covered in a copious amount of fur. Now, the first thought that might cross your mind is a bear. They're known to frequent wooded areas, but there's something peculiar about the way this creature stands. It's almost upright, which is unusual for a bear. They do stand on their hind legs occasionally, but not quite like this. So here's the intriguing part. Could this be a Bigfoot? You know, the legendary figure often associated with large, hairy, human-like beings said to roam the wilderness. A part of me thinks so, 
but you look at the image again and you realize it's more a man than it is Bigfoot, especially when you take a critical look at its face. Is there another cryptid out there like this, or am I merely overthinking stuff? If you thought that was weird, then wait till you see this clip. The footage starts with the one filming zooming in on his target. It's easy to get lost with all the foliage around and assume we might be dealing with a plant or some squirrel or something. As the camera stabilizes and focuses, however, we realize that that could not be any further from the truth than it already is. Once the camera focuses, a creature comes into sight. The head of a creature with a ghostly white head emerges from behind the trees, resembling a skeletal figure that appears to have risen from the dead. Its eye sockets are empty, revealing a deep darkness. Other facial features are black. The unknown skeletal-like creature swiftly hides behind the trees as it realizes its cover has been blown, never revealing its face again. Are we reliving Coco film just in the land of the dead, or is this just someone dressed up for the shoot for the sake of views? Or could it be the infamous rake? Is that even possible? Share your thoughts. If you've made it this far and haven't hit the like button, subscribed, or even dropped a comment, could you do that before we go on? Thank you very much. It means a lot. Moving back to today's episode. Now let's journey to the enchanting swamps of southwestern Florida. Behold this captivating footage, showcasing the effortless grace of a massive alligator gliding through the water, a truly majestic spectacle. When it comes to modern creatures that resemble the prehistoric lineage of dinosaurs, my hairs stand on end. The alligator captured in this footage is a prime example. If this doesn't give you shivers, I'm not sure what will. Fix your gaze on this scene. The alligator's eyes emit an eerie luminescence, casting an uncanny aura. At first glance, you might even wonder if it's some malevolent entity manifesting in our realm, but rest assured, the reality is far less sinister. This luminosity is attributed to a specialized layer called the tapetum lucidum, situated at the rear of the eyes. This adaption allows their eyes to reflect light, resulting in this captivating radiance. Beyond the scary eyes, we have the size and weight to worry about. This colossal being tips the scales at around 1,000 pounds. They inhabit both terrestrial and freshwater domains, though they steer clear of salty waters. While they might nibble on the occasional fruit, make no mistake, these predators are boring carnivores. On solid ground, their dash is surprisingly sprightly, yet their hefty frame exacts swift exhaustion. In some, they're a formidable threat in both swampy waters and on terra firma. Whatever you do, avoid them like the plague when you see them. Get too close and, well, you might just become history just like the ancient dinosaurs. Paying close attention to this footage, we see the trees shake and sway back and forth. It's no doubt that there's a powerful force moving through the forest, but what creature could shake the trees this much? The truth is, no one knows. And the individual whose drone was capturing the whole thing refused to move closer to avoid being spotted by whatever it is or angering it. He didn't want to take the chance and end up with regrets. That is, losing his gear or having such a powerful being come after him. What do you think, though? What creature could have exuded such power? What would you have done in this position? Tell us in the comments section. This next footage was captured by a trail cam that was supposed to be well hidden from wildlife, but for some reason, one creature was able to sniff it out. And guess what? It didn't exactly look natural. Take a look. Do you see it? We've seen lots of wolves on this channel, and believe me when I tell you, they typically don't look like that. If you pay attention to the footage, you'll realize that the creature almost looks humanoid. It appears to be bipedal with shoulders, et al. You and I know wolves are quadrupeds, which means they walk on four legs. This makes us believe that we could be dealing with a werewolf or something along those lines. What do you think, though? Do you see what I'm seeing, or am I simply reading too much into a simple capture? 
Sometimes reality can be so bewildering that it seems to validate our wildest imaginations. In this peculiar footage, the scene is reminiscent of a simple stick figure drawing we've all created. A slender figure, almost like a living stick figure, is captured on a snowy path in the dead of night. The image is surreal, as if someone's childhood sketch has come to life. The figure's upper part is shrouded in darkness, adding an extra layer of mystique. But what's undeniable are the long, spindly legs moving with an otherworldly grace. Could it be a trick of the light, a creature unknown to science, or just a clever optical illusion? The mystery persists, much like those stick figures we used to draw as kids. On that note, if you still haven't liked, commented, or subscribed to the channel yet, please do so now before I send that creature after you. On a more serious note, it really helps us out a ton and gives us the opportunity to keep making these videos for you. So please do so and share this video with your friends and family. Thank you very much. If you thought the last Bigfoot footage was up close and personal, watch this one. The footage starts off casually looking like a normal footage till we spot a black figure in the background. It gets all shaky from there and we can barely see the subject except for a few times the cameraman captured it. Now, here's the twist. Could the cameraman's trembling hands be attributed to genuine fear, rendering the footage raw and unsettling? Or might this intentional tremor serve as a clever diversion, masking the truth of its authenticity? My gut nudges me towards skepticism, hinting at a fabrication, but I'm eager to hear your take. Don't hold back. Let those keyboards sing in the comments section. Picture this. You're out for a leisurely stroll, and suddenly you spot the fabled Yeti casually doing push-ups on a hill. Sounds absolutely bonkers, doesn't it? But hold on, because we've got the footage to prove it. Not so crazy anymore, is it? This footage was reportedly captured by an adventurer who was exploring one of the remote mountain ranges in one of the cold regions. Curiously, our adventurer friend has opted to keep the location under wraps, citing safety concerns. In case you're not in the know, spotting a regular-sized human on a mountain peak is like trying to find a needle in a haystack, unless, of course, said human is the size of a small house. The being in this footage is very pronounced, which means it must be very large, which takes away any and all possibility of him being human. Interestingly, according to the uploader, this region is rumored to be a Yeti hotspot. Strangely though, tangible evidence has been elusive. He's confident that this footage prevents the most compelling evidence we've seen in quite some time. But why would a Yeti be doing press-ups? Is it trying to get over a breakup, or am I simply overthinking it? Either way, share your thoughts with us. Do you think that this is the real deal, or is someone just messing with us? We'd love to read your comments. Venturing into the woods at night can be a thrilling and eerie experience. It's definitely a setting where the unexpected can certainly occur, and our final clip depicts that perfectly. In this case, a YouTube crew filming in the dark wilderness stumbled upon a pale humanoid figure that promptly fled upon noticing their presence. This sighting raises more questions than it provides answers. It's often challenging to determine if the figure is a naked person or a creature due to the low visibility and the unsettling nature of the encounter. The forest's dense canopy and the darkness of night can play tricks on one's perception, adding to the mystery of what was observed. What do you think? A sighting of an otherworldly-looking creature in the woods is bound to pique anyone's curiosity and raise questions about the mysteries of the natural world. In this instance, the creature sports a striking appearance that's nothing short of alien. I mean, it's barely visible in the bushes, but looking closely, you can see it. Its eyes betray it with an eerie glow that makes it impossible to not spot it. Despite spotting a face and eyes, we still can't see the creature. 
Does anyone know what this is? Could it be a known wild animal, or is this truly an otherworldly and extraterrestrial encounter? Share your thoughts with me in the comments section. Still on ginormous creatures, we travel all the way to Japan for our next footage. Before I reveal more, take a look. My initial reaction, what in the world is that abomination? I got my answer once the whole creature was in view. The sight of the numerous tentacles and arms initially gave me quite a scare. However, upon closer inspection, it revealed itself to be none other than a squid. Not your everyday squid though, but instead a giant squid. This footage was captured off the coast of Japan, showcasing an astonishing giant squid measuring at least 2.5 meters in length. Undoubtedly, seafood enthusiasts might find themselves drooling at its mere sight, yet for those unacquainted with such a spectacle, it could be quite an unsettling experience. It evokes memories of the legendary Kraken from myth and echoes its appearances in various films. While its size is undeniably impressive, let's be clear, it's a far cry from the colossal Kraken of ancient myths. But do tell us, will this scare you, or would it simply work up an appetite in you? We'd like to know. Picture this, a tranquil, moonlit evening, a leisurely walk, and then the unthinkable. But why spoil the surprise? Let the footage speak for itself. The footage starts out pretty normal, till you realize that the one recording moves the camera to one spot and doesn't move. It's almost as though she's frozen in time, and you start wondering why, until you see it. A white being emerges from the shadow, moving in a similar fashion as a gorilla would, and pauses to stare at the one recording. At that moment, the recording ends, leaving you wonder what happened to the recorder. But then again, the person uploading means the person survived the experience. Now, let's tackle the burning question. What on earth, or beyond, did we just witness? As much as I'd revel in the idea of encountering a bona fide paranormal entity, something niggles at my skepticism. The entity's appearance seems eerily computer-rendered, and picture this, a hair-raising woodland encounter with a shadowy being. Trust me, steady hands might be a luxury. My gut leans towards a CGI fabrication, so in my opinion it's fake and simply CGI, but what's yours? Next, we have footage that might blow your mind, and it's no exaggeration. Let's watch. In this video clip, the trail camera is positioned next to a tree covered in green growth. But the beauty of the forest isn't our focus today. Instead, it's this strange figure that emerges from nowhere and appears to be walking toward the camera. Although it's not fully visible, we can discern that it's black in appearance, possibly nine or more feet high, and with fur that's as black as night. Could it be? No, that's the wrong thing to say. The right thing is, that's surely a Bigfoot, and this Bigfoot is big. Once it comes into full view, we can see its beautifully tousled hair and massive physique as it confidently makes its way down the trail. Although we've reviewed a lot of Bigfoot footage, this is the first time we've seen one with a physique like this. His includes taking into account its fur, height, and physique. You gotta wonder, why is this one so different? Is it because it's a never-before-seen variation of the species, or simply because the whole thing is a hoax? I believe this one is authentic, but what say you? Everyone experiences an unexpected change in plans from time to time, but I'm not sure the farmer in the next footage ever anticipated experiencing what I'm about to show you. This farmer in India headed out of his farm not expecting anything out of the ordinary. He was however met with the sudden disappearance of one of his goats which he went on a quest to find, but what he stumbled upon is nothing short of a wild scene. There, on his property, he comes face to face with a massive, bloated python slithering along in all its serpentine glory. It seems that the mystery of the missing goat has been solved in the most surprising way possible. Now, confronted with a situation that's clearly out of his hands, the farmer takes the wise course of action. 
He decides to call in the experts, in this case animal control, to come and handle the python. After all, dealing with a creature of that size and nature isn't something one can tackle alone. And what better way to end today's compilation than with eerie ghost footage? Enjoy! Did you see it? A transparent or translucent being moves through the room around the area of the stairs. The uploader of the footage reiterates how the footage scared her and how she was still recovering from it. Now you tell me, what would you have done in her shoes? As you think about it, here's a quick one. While the land has seen its fair share of peculiar sightings, the world beneath the waves holds a treasure trove of mysteries waiting to be unveiled. Every day, new and bewildering creatures are captured on camera, adding to the enigma of our planet. With a mere 5% of the ocean's vast expanse explored by humanity, we've already encountered a plethora of bizarre and inexplicable marine life. Allow us to introduce you to the Archosargus probatocephalus, commonly referred to as the sheep's head fish. It's a remarkable feature, a head that uncannily echoes human facial features. In a departure from the minuscule and razor-sharp teeth of its aquatic counterparts, the sheep's head fish showcases an astonishing trait. Its mouth is adorned with teeth reminiscent of those found in humans. Notably, two upper front teeth jut out prominently. As for its culinary potential, I can't say for certain, but I must admit the thought of finding my own face staring back at me from a plate isn't exactly appetizing. While not of paranormal origin, the fish's appearance remains undeniably eerie and disconcerting, or am I being too critical of a fish? Either way, have you seen any of these fish in person? What was the experience like? Now here's another tale of peculiar woodland encounters. A family decided to have a nice outing in the woods. You know, just some quality time in nature, but as often happens in such settings, they stumble upon something they didn't anticipate. Out there, in the distance, they spotted a rather intriguing sight. A cryptid. This creature has dark fur and was strolling around on two legs. Now, if you ever heard about Bigfoot, this might ring a bell because it shares a few similarities. Naturally, the family didn't stick around to exchange pleasantries. Nope, they hightailed it out of there, and honestly, who could blame them? Speaking of Bigfoot, this next camera recording was taken amidst a dense forest, capturing quite an interesting scene. At first, we see a large creature moving slowly through the woods, but as it draws nearer, it suddenly breaks into a brisk sprint. Now, the big question here is, could this be a Bigfoot? If so, why is it charging toward the one filming? This behavior is quite different from the typical Bigfoot sightings where it's often seen just standing or strolling about. It's a unique twist that's piqued the interest of all who follow Bigfoot lore. But there is another layer to this story. The vibe in the video, it's not just the creature's unusual behavior that stands out, but also the atmosphere, which seems a bit tense and unsettling. This brings up a concern we often have with these kinds of videos. Is the person who filmed it okay? There's not a lot of information beyond his filming, but you have to wonder, did the Bigfoot attack? Was he hurt? What exactly happened? We're not privy to the information, but you can't deny that the video carries a sense of unease, adding another layer of intrigue to the whole mystery. Next, we have this rather odd footage we'd love for you to see as well. We've been scratching our heads over this one, and we're eagerly anticipating your insights or perhaps a collective head-scratching session. Have a look at the image. At first glance, I'm tempted to call it a bear due to its bear-like visage. But hang on, bears aren't typically this diminutive, are they? Interestingly, this snapshot hails from Louisiana where bears do roam. However, the local bear species tends to be smaller than its grizzly counterparts. Despite their petite stature, I find it hard to believe they're quite this petite. 
Despite their small sizes, however, I doubt they are this small. I mean, this looks too small to even be a cub. If you've been on the channel for a while, then you know I sort of make mistakes when it comes to recognizing species of the same family. Am I making another mistake, or is there something odd going on here? Please tell me in the comments section, as I'd really love to know. Can trees move? Before you answer, watch this footage. We have fantasies we wish could be our reality, but if we know anything about life, it's that that's not how life works. Yet, right before you in this trail cam footage is something that looks mythical and magical. The footage unveils a forest adorned with towering trees, adorned in moss, surrounded by lush grass. Yet, the true intrigue lies with the trees right in the center of the footage. In a captivating display, this particular tree responds to some unseen cue, opening and closing to unveil its slightly carved and intricately crafted innermost part. It almost looks as though the tree is moving or breathing. Is this something magical, or is there a logical explanation for it? If there is, could you tell us in the comments section, because we'd like to know. Encounters with mysterious and potentially menacing intruders can be deeply unsettling, especially when they defy easy explanations. In this case, a person on a farm spots an intruder from a distance, but what they see is not someone they could simply approach and ask to leave the property. As they zoom in on the footage, the features of the creature come into focus, and it bears a striking resemblance to the elusive rake. The fear and uncertainty of the situation leave the farmer standing at a distance watching the creature with a mix of awe and trepidation. Here we have a classic case of something that could easily be mistaken for a paranormal encounter in the woods. In this piece of disturbing footage, we see a creature which appears to be slender and tall moving through the woods. The footage appears to have been taken from a window, which means it was taken closer to civilization. Could this be the slender man we've always heard about? Could its true form be what we are seeing, or is this simply another entity altogether? It's hard for us to say, but do tell us what you think. Still in Thailand, meet the Leptocephalids, transparent creatures that seem like they're made of glass. Here's a riddle for you. Think of a sea creature that shares similarities with the Leptocephalids. If you guessed eel, you're absolutely right. Leptocephalids are the larvae of eels. These flat, almost extraordinary creatures are slow swimmers and thrive in any water. They feed on plankton, which includes microscopic organisms like small crustacean larvae and other tiny particles in the water. While some species of eels, when they're adults, may consume crustaceans, insects, and smaller fishes, the larvae, Leptocephali, primarily rely on plankton for their diet. Despite their invisible power, these creatures still fall prey to fishes like lance fish, tuna, yellowfin, and other species. These creatures have a lifespan of two years and are one of the coolest sea creatures I have ever seen. What about you? Next, we have another perplexing footage you should definitely see. Have a look. In broad daylight, this trail cam captures a glimpse of a black creature as it ventures deeper into the woods. Upon closer examination of it, it bears a resemblance to the legendary Sasquatch more commonly referred to as Bigfoot. Its black fur and robust and humanoid build are dead giveaways. Aside from its physique, the uploader of the footage mentioned that it was moving quite quickly, as though it didn't want to be seen. I know you might be wondering what if it's just an ape from the region, but this is where things get serious. There are no apes where this footage was recorded, and that could only mean one thing. This is the real deal. Unless, of course, this is an elaborate hoax, which I'm hoping it's not, but what do you think about the whole thing? 
In this image, we're introduced to a hairless bear, which at first glance might remind you of a lion with its distinctive mane. However, this is indeed a bear. The image was captured in Leipzig, a city in Germany, and it's within the confines of a local zoo. The zoo's garnered attention for its rather peculiar condition of some of its female bears, one of which is Dolores. She's noticeably devoid of fur, an appearance that's quite uncommon for a bear. The mysterious hair loss in these bears has left experts puzzled, and despite extensive investigation, a conclusive cause remains elusive. Now you must be wondering, is that real or is it CGI? If it's real, is it alien? Well, no, it's not. It's an actual frog. The purple frog, scientifically known as Nasicobactricus siadrensis, is indeed a fascinating and peculiar creature. This species of frog is native to the Western Ghats in India, a region known for its rich biodiversity. The purple frog gets its name from its unique appearance. It has a purplish-brown colorization and a distinctive, somewhat bulbous body shape. What makes the purple frog particularly interesting is its unusual lifestyle. It spends most of its life underground, surfacing only during the monsoon season for a short period to breed. It has specialized adaptations for subterranean life, including a snout-like nose that helps it burrow in the soil. These frogs are considered living fossils because they represent an ancient lineage of frogs that has been around for a very long time. Now, we're not wildlife aficionados, and we won't pretend to be, but this next capture that was sent in by one of our astute viewers who says he's had 30 trail cams up for over 10 years. Despite this feat, he's no idea what the image I'm about to show you is. Have a look. Now, here's where the magic happens. On this very channel, you've astounded us time and again with your uncanny ability to discern and identify the denizens of the wild. Today, we're reaching out to you, our community of experts, to come to the aid of our fellow explorer. Take the reins and enlighten us. What creature do you believe graces this mysterious snapshot? Drop your insights in the comments section. And yes, our fellow enthusiasts will eagerly be poring over your thoughts. If you thought that was weird, take a look at this footage. Do you see it? Somewhere in the trees, there's a dark figure moving. Whatever it is, it realizes that it's being filmed and tries to hide behind the trees. It keeps staring in the direction of those filming until the clip ends. The uploader of the footage believes it's a Bigfoot, and quite frankly, I'm leaning into that explanation as well. Whatever creature it is, it also has fur all over it and is moving with a human-like gait. There's only one creature that's known to have these features, and it's none other than the legendary and elusive Bigfoot. Could this be actual footage of the cryptid, or is this an elaborate hoax to throw us off? Now let's step into the realm of the unknown with a piece of footage from Mexico that's left folks scratching their heads. It started with a curious Facebook user sharing the video playing on your screen. It showcased a rather peculiar sight in the night sky. What we see here is a strangely shaped light bathed in an orange hue gently pulsing in the darkness. It's the kind of sight that instantly piques your curiosity. The best part? No one has managed to conjure up a reasonable explanation for what this enigmatic light might be. But wait, the intrigue doesn't stop there. In a truly jaw-dropping twist, this singular light seems to pull off a cloning act, duplicating itself in the sky. Yes, you heard that right. It's as if it's saying, one mystery light is not enough. Let's add another. What could this be? Could it be some sort of alien structure hovering above, or perhaps an as-yet-unexplained natural phenomenon? Next, we have bizarre footage that was taken by a group of friends embarking on a hike through the Turkey Mountains. What they caught sight of has us spooked and scratching our heads. Take a look. 
There, in the fading light, a pair of eyes pop out of nowhere, glowing eerily in the twilight. When they focus in, they notice something rather peculiar. What appears to be a set of horns framing those glowing eyes. The horns are quite sizable and curved downward, creating a silhouette that reminds them of the beast from Beauty and the Beast. Now, the rational part of their mind suggests it could be a mountain sheep or a goat, which is not an unusual sight in these parts. But there's something about this creature that gives off an uncanny feeling. A shiver down the spine, if you may. Taking a second look at the creature, it definitely looks like it has a body that's humanoid. But how's that even possible? The paranormal community has been divisive about its identity since the footage was shared, but many lean towards the possibility of it being a skinwalker. What say you? Going back to the ocean, prepare to be amazed by this intriguing footage captured by a fisherman off the coast of Krabi, Thailand. This man went fishing when he caught something unlike anything he's ever seen. A spider-like creature, but one with more legs than your average spider. From this footage, we can see the creature is quite large and has legs that look like sticks. The creature itself looks so unreal, like a tree branch, but here's where things get really strange. As the man pokes the creature, it starts moving its arms, proving that it is indeed alive and a genuine mystery of the deep. The footage has left all who saw it weirded out, but what do you think this could be? Tell us in the comments section. Still on strange things, let's dive into something truly perplexing. Feast your eyes on this baffling footage. In this footage, an unknown individual holds a moving creature in their left palm while it exhibits physical bird-like features. The beak area raises several questions. At first glance, the black and white polka dotted spots around it appear to resemble teeth. But teeth at such a young age? Weird, right? But that's not the only unsettling aspect. Perhaps it's the novelty of encountering a newborn bird outside of its nest that adds to the eerie feeling. But although we're inexperienced when it comes to birds, we're not sure birds should look like that. The uploader mentioned it was a ghouled, waddled bat, but a quick Google search will prove otherwise. Contrary to what we've uncovered, the appearance doesn't align with that of young ghouled, waddled bats. So what exactly are we dealing with here? Could it be an extraterrestrial entity, a genetic anomaly, or perhaps an entirely novel species? Well, we can't say. Time will tell, but I have a feeling it won't be pretty. What do you think? And for our final clip of the day, we thought we'd leave you with something fascinating. Ready? Enjoy! This fascinating piece of footage is from Uganda and was taken back in 2018. The video brought to light a truly remarkable sight, a massive cow with not one, not two, but three enormous horns perched atop its head. It's the kind of thing that might remind you of a creature from a fantasy movie, something right out of a fairy tale. But here's the catch. This isn't a fictional creation. These cows are indeed a real species found in Uganda known for growing exceptionally large and thick horns like the one in the video. This particular cow with its trio of horns is something of a rarity, a unique individual among its bovine peers. Just take a moment to appreciate the sheer size of this magnificent creature. It's a testament to the diversity and wonder of the animal kingdom. Ever witnessed land pulling off some bizarre moves like this? It's almost like watching a whale bridge the ocean's surface for a gulp of air, but on dry land. So what's the scoop here? Could there be some elusive creature lurking beneath the earth trying to break free? Now hold your sea monsters and giant earthworms, because as thrilling as that would be, or <laughs> terrifying depending on your perspective, that's not exactly the deal here. 
In reality, we're in the land of mystery. No one can say for sure what's causing this jaw-dropping phenomenon. Some folks toss out the idea that it might be the Earth's tectonic plates getting restless and shifting, causing this peculiar rise. Others have a different take, suggesting that perhaps gas is making a sneaky escape from the depths, creating these unusual land surges. They even point to the bubbles in the water as evidence. But here's the kicker. While these theories might sound pretty sensible, they're still in the yet-to-be-proven camp. So don't pack up your monster hunting gear just yet. Could there be a colossal creature on the move beneath the soil? Who knows? Or maybe I'm just being a tad too jittery. If you've got some wild guesses or a solid hypothesis, drop them in the comment section below. Does hell exist on Earth, or is it in another plane or dimension? I've always wondered about this growing up, and these next clips allegedly hold the answer. According to the original posters of these clips, they discovered hell on Earth where individuals were burning and not dying. Sort of like an eternal torment with people perpetually screaming. As much as I want to believe this clip and satisfy my curiosity, they just don't add up. It feels like the screams were edited into the clips and the locations look like an industrial place. This is just a blatant attempt to peddle falsehoods, and I'm very upset. Why am I upset again? Doesn't the internet have a lot of these false videos? Anyway, I would really want to know what the places shown in these clips really do. Could someone educate me? If I didn't know any better, I would assume that this is a seal chewing gum, but it's an actual species of seal called the hooded seal. Hooded seals are indeed a fascinating and unique species, known for their distinct nasal hood that males can inflate and the striking appearance it gives them. Comparing one to a seal chewing gum is a whimsical and creative way to describe their appearance. These seals are well adapted to their cold and challenging environments, primarily found in the Arctic and North Atlantic. While they may not be engaging in chewing gum, their behavior and features are captivating in their own right. Hooded seals are skilled swimmers, spending much of their lives in the ocean and occasionally coming ashore for breeding and molting. Seen one? Tell us your experience. A walk in these woods with your child can be a peaceful and picturesque experience, but when your child's gaze fixates on something that makes your heart race, it's a moment that's sure to leave you scared for life. That's the unfortunate reality of these individuals in our next clip. Take a look. As the camera is turned toward the direction of your child's fascination, the footage reveals a figure among the trees. Upon closer inspection, it becomes clear that this is no ordinary woodland encounter. The creature appears to be a humanoid figure shrouded in cloth like a mummy, a sight that's unsettling and haunting. They hoped that this might be some sort of Halloween prank, but this wasn't taken during Halloween. They walk away from the incident unscathed, but scarred for life. Through the centuries, the world map has undergone numerous transformations, and even now, new territories are still being discovered on our planet. Around any of these areas, okay? There's North America, South America, Africa, India, Russia, China. Okay, so very similar to this map. <clears throat> In this clip, a man showcases an updated world map and an old one from 1587, highlighting the differences between the two. Australia. There is no Australia here because it hasn't been discovered yet. This is 1587. Australia wasn't discovered until 1606, so that's why that's not there. But my main question is... One of the significant observations made was the lack of Australia on the old map. This raises the question of how a continent so vast could have been unknown to the cartographers of that era. Similarly, Antarctica was also not present on the old map, and the regions were considered as land. The question arises as to whether the lack of these territories was due to a lack of knowledge at the time, or if there is more to it. Some people even speculate that the existence of Antarctica is a scam. 
what do you think? And oh, before our final video for the day, take a look at my favorite comment from the original post. Do you get it? All this land. And second thing, what froze them? What happened between 1587 and 1892 where those areas got frozen? Still on creatures from the lower depths, take a look at this clip. What does it remind you of? What does this look like? It's not too hard to guess. A lower body that looks fishy and an upper body that's, well, human. That's gotta be a mermaid, hasn't it? The body proportions, however, defy what we normally see, and there's something odd about the clip. I just can't put my finger on it. It offsets the whole thing and prevents it from feeling like the usual clips we see of mermaids. I just can't put my finger on it, but can you help? YouTube drones have opened up a whole new realm of possibilities for exploration and discovery, and occasionally they capture something truly intriguing. In this instance, as a drone was surveying a property, it stumbled upon a creature moving below. The creature's appearance was remarkably human, but its size and the presence of dark fur led everyone who saw it to believe that they had encountered a Bigfoot. While skepticism and debate surround the existence of Bigfoot, these encounters continue to fuel the mystery and fascination surrounding this cryptid. Hunting is a profession that's definitely not for the faint of heart. Not only is it dangerous, but more often than not, they encounter things they can't explain. This clip is one of such encounters, but fortunately for us, the hunter had a camera on him. Now, the hunter recording is hidden in a hunter's blind, which is a setup used by hunters to hide from wild animals. This means that although the creature we are seeing is merely 20 feet from him, the hunter is camouflaged. As you can see, this creature, however, possesses higher intelligence than your average animal, as he spotted the blind and is trying to be careful. It has fur all around, and if you didn't know any better, you'd say it's an ape. But when you look closer, you realize it's not. It seems to possess human-like capabilities, yet has the fur of, say, an ape or a bear. It didn't take too long for the paranormal community to declare this as a Bigfoot once the footage was uploaded. Take a look at the footage. I can't help but agree. This is certainly one of the clearest and most up-close footage of Bigfoot that we have ever had on this channel. But is it authentic? Is it real? None can 100% confirm it, but I'm willing to take a leap of faith. What about you? Can you do the split? I know a majority of us here can't do it. I must confess I can't. What if I told you I met a mouse that could? Don't believe me? Watch. Yeah, that's a mouse doing the split. We're not exactly sure how it got there, but it's remaining there by doing the split. My team thinks it was trying to escape the humans, and that's not impossible. When survival mode kicks in, it's amazing the things we can do. A split would have been the last thing on my mind, but here it is. There's also the possibility that the people recording it put it there to garner views, but that would just be cruel. Enjoy the natural split. Something beautiful, something exquisite, something rare. Take a look. Now, what are we looking at here? A strange looking cat like creature in the forest. What could this guy be? Well, this is a jaguarandi. For those unfamiliar with it, the jaguarandi is a fascinating wild cat that could be found across the Americas. It's a medium-sized animal with a unique appearance, characterized by a small head, a long slender body, and short legs. The jaguarandi's coat can vary from reddish brown to grayish brown, and it has a long bushy tail that's often darker at the tip. This wild cat is a solitary and elusive creature, which makes it quite challenging to spot in the wild. 
It's known to be active during both the day and night as it hunts for small mammals, reptiles, and birds. The jaguarandi's diet is quite diverse and it can feed on anything from rodents to lizards to small birds. The jaguarandi is a quiet and relatively calm animal. It's not particularly aggressive and will usually avoid humans if possible. However, it is still a wild animal and should be treated with caution and respect if encountered in the wild. Where does this rank on your list of favorite cats? Let us know in the comments section. This video was taken deep in the hearts of the Indonesian forest. In the frame, you can see something rather peculiar. A woman dressed in white robes standing by a tree and gazing directly into the camera. It's the kind of scene that might make you think twice before adventuring into the woods alone. Some local folks suggest she might be a witch or a spirit. Watching the footage, I can understand where they are coming from. I mean, it does look like it could definitely fit the bill. When you consider the fact that the locals have folklore of a witch that fits the exact description we see in the footage, then you know that they're definitely onto something. This adds a layer of intrigue to the story. Now, when it comes to mysterious encounters like these, there are always skeptics offering various explanations. But as is often the case, the true mystery behind this footage remains unsolved, leaving us with questions and room for speculation. I really believe there's something paranormal about that strange-looking woman. What about you? Ah, the mysteries the trail cams unveil never cease to amaze. Take this unusual capture for instance. In the frame, we see a creature that defies easy explanation. It's a bit like a riddle wrapped in an enigma. At first glance, this creature might remind you of a tiny zebra and it's standing upright, which is rather uncommon in the animal kingdom. The creature captured by the cam is adorned with zebra-like stripes and its hands and legs appear surprisingly human. When it comes to the head, however, the image is a bit blurry, making it challenging to discern. Taking a second, third, and fourth look at the image, I started to doubt its authenticity. I'm no CGI expert, but this looks computer-generated. Could someone be trying to throw us off using something like this, or are we dealing with something that's so bizarre it looks fake? Personally, I'm tempted to lean towards it being CGI, but then again, the world you and I live in is a strange one. Anything's possible. What do you personally think, though? I wish I could tell you that that's the end of the weird stuff, but no, it gets weirder. Take a look at this next clip. Yup, those are alleged alien babies. We don't call this show classified captures for no reason. This was also sent in by a user here claiming to be part of a secret team that takes care of alien babies on the planet. As proof, he or she sent in this clip. I say he or she because the individual refused to share any personal information at the risk of being discovered by the organization he or she works with. The exchange was exciting at first because of the mysterious nature of the person involved. Once we got this clip, however, it just didn't feel that way anymore. My team started suspecting right away that there had to be clips of silicon babies in the form of aliens. Sure enough, we did find the clip somewhere with people calling it silicon. You've seen the clip too, so what do you think? Our next clip was taken by the pilot of a military craft. The pilot of the aircraft was on a routine flight when he noticed an unknown craft flying nearby. The craft was circular and had an appearance similar to a saucer. It flew past the pilot's aircraft without any interaction or acknowledgement. According to the pilot, he had no idea what the craft was, which ruled out the possibility of it being a drone. What is intriguing about the video is that the craft seems to be highly advanced and unlike any human-made aircraft. There's no clear explanation as to what the craft could have been, and it remains a mystery. Do you think it could have been a UFO? I'd love to hear your thoughts on this.
Ah, the wonders of trail cameras, capturing candid moments of the natural world's inhabitants in their element. Now, in this particular snapshot, we find ourselves amidst a family gathering of Mastilidae. That's the scientific term encompassing the marvelous world of weasels, otters, badgers, martens, and their kin, all carnivorous animals with a taste for adventure. In this image, five of these little critters have gathered around the trail camp, their eyes aglow likely due to the camera's flash. It's a charming sight, but it's also a bit of a puzzle. They look like they're distracted by something to the left side, a glow of unknown and perhaps alien origin. If you've been on this channel for a while, you know we take our orbs seriously because they typically mean supernatural or paranormal activity. But what could this glowing light caught in the capture mean? Is it also spiritual, or are we dealing with an alien entity here? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section. In this video clip, we catch a glimpse of a towering yet incomplete tree. Only half of it is visible. As we admire the tree, the scenery, and the setting sun, something extraordinary unfolds, a humanoid figure floating in thin air. This person appears carefree as if attempting to break Jesus' walking on water record. Whatever the case, the man or whatever it is that's being filmed levitates for a while before disappearing behind one of the houses. It may not be Jesus Christ, but you have to wonder, what did we just see? Are there powerful beings amongst us? Does he live in the community and is simply returning home from doing superhero stuff in secret? It's hard to say, but this whole thing is just bizarre and weird. What do you make of it? In this next clip, you can see a man using a metal thing to strike a rock. The rock, which was initially gray, suddenly turns red within a matter of seconds. This is quite unusual as rocks are typically considered non-living and shouldn't react to being hit. Various commenters have offered their theories in an attempt to explain this phenomenon. Some have suggested that the rock is a type of redstone that changes color when struck. Several others have suggested that the rock may contain either magnesium or magnetite. Magnetite is a natural stone that has magnetic properties. One commenter clarified that magnetite has natural magnetic south properties, which means that it can attract or repel other magnets. While these are interesting observations, they don't truly explain what exactly caused the rock to turn red. Rocks aren't exactly my thing, so can you help? Or is this just a paranormal occurrence? When I saw this, the first thing that came to mind was possessed, but then again I thought to myself, perhaps there might be a medical explanation for this, and so I did some research and discovered that there's not. There's no condition that makes the eye as dark as we see. I turned to my paranormal groups and it turns out my instincts were right. This has to do with paranormal entities that take the form of children to beg for help and, well, do horrible things to those who help them later. This child, on the other hand, looks cute and appears to be with a family. Could our hypothesis be wrong? Could the child have been replaced by some vile spirit, or is this a medical condition I didn't discover in my research? So many questions and yet no answers. Whatever the situation, I can't help but feel sad for the baby, if it is indeed one. Poor baby. The allure of the unknown and the mysterious can sometimes lead to fascinating tales and unexpected discoveries. In the case of the Costa Rican fishermen back in 2011, their encounter with a peculiar sea creature must have been a thrilling experience. The creature's strange movements in the sea and its unfamiliar appearance sparked their curiosity, leading them to capture and bring it home to share their discoveries with others. It's not uncommon for such encounters to evoke thoughts of aliens or paranormal creatures, especially when faced with something entirely out of the realm of one's usual experiences. I dug deeper concerning this story and found many sources calling it a hoax, because the website that posted it had disappeared and the individual is also nowhere to be found. Given this circumstance, they concluded that the story was made up and that they probably altered an image of a stingray. What if that's not the situation, though? What if he found something and was captured to keep him silent? I guess we'll never know. 
possible rake sighting is certainly an intriguing and spine-tingling prospect. In the heart of the night, a peculiar creature is discovered perched on a wooden structure within a field. The creature is characterized by its glowing eyes and a body that appears eerily human and crouched. This unsettling presence sits atop the structure for a time, an eerie silhouette against the darkness. Then, with an almost supernatural grace, it jumps off and vanishes into the obscurity of the night. Whether this is indeed a sighting of a rake or something else entirely remains a mystery, but it's an encounter that tantalizes the imagination, does it not? It's been a while, but we're back with it. Our community has been buzzing of late, and I thought, what better way to recognize some of you than to give you all another one of our bonus clips? Couldn't you tell me what this is? If you can, please do tell me in the comments section. Start your comment with bonus and write the name of the creature as well as one fact on it. The best five comments will be featured in our next video. Good luck. Do you believe monsters exist? No? Well, how do you explain this? If this clip were taken in the ocean, I'd argue it was some species of octopus. But this was clearly recorded on land. The last time I checked, we didn't have such creatures living amongst us. Unless, of course, it's an undiscovered species of land animal. Everything would make sense if it were, but that doesn't appear to be the case. Once this hit our paranormal groups, it naturally went viral and the debate started. Some believed that this was a previously unknown species. Some also argued that this had to be alien. Others thought it was a mechanical device that had been perfectly positioned to appear as though it were alive. Others thought it was CGI and clearly a hoax. Personally, I don't have an opinion and I can't say for sure what it is, but I'm tempted to take the sight of it being a mechanically set up device. Why? The answer is simple. Take a good look at the clip and you will realize that the creature, if we can call it that, only moves to and fro in a perfectly straight line. If this were real, I doubt any creature would move like that, especially when it's being threatened. The arms are also just moving around without any clear direction, almost as if it's some mechanical device that's been programmed to do so. You don't have to take my word for it, though. Perhaps that's the spirit of skepticism at work in me. Anyway, what do you guys think? Hikers often come across some of the most breathtaking and mysterious sights in the great outdoors, and spotting a creature on the mountain is an experience that can leave anyone spellbound. In this case, the hiker caught sight of a creature that bore a resemblance to the legendary Bigfoot, but the footage was captured at a distance and wasn't clear enough for a definitive identification. The only way for someone to stand out from that far out was for it to be considerably large. Given that this was captured on a mountain with what looks like fur in its body, we can only assume that's a Bigfoot. If you think otherwise, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Nighttime intruders can be a cause for alarm and uncertainty, especially when they take on a strange and unsettling appearance. In this case, a homeowner was awakened by the sound of his dog barking and scratching at the door. Investigating the commotion, he was confronted with an unusual creature peering through the glass window, a sight like nothing he had ever seen before. What could this thing be? As far as he could tell, it looked like a canine, but with markings on its face that he'd never seen before. He uploaded the footage online, and the community has been divided about it. That doesn't help the owner, as encounters like these can be deeply disconcerting, leaving the observer with more questions than answers. In this case, there's also a concern for safety because his dog is scared of the creature and only barks from afar when the animal visits. Can anyone help? Have you ever seen an angry and crazy hippo? Well, today's your lucky day.
Speaking of luck, that zookeeper is very fortunate to escape unscathed. The last thing you want to do is upset a hippo. Even lions avoid them. They are aggressive, strong, and almost indestructible. And those jaws, I repeat, the zookeeper is fortunate to not have experienced their bite force firsthand. Surviving a hippo attack requires staying calm, assessing the situation for signs of aggression, and slowly backing away while keeping an eye on the hippo's movements. Supposing you're in the wild and the hippo charges, seek higher ground or a sturdy structure, create distance, and use deterrence like loud noise or pepper spray if available. If attacked, protect yourself by curling into a ball with your head tucked. The zookeeper was able to do this instinctively, which might have saved him. Do you think you could have handled the situation better than him? Let us know in the comments section. Next, we have another clip that's almost unbelievable. Take a look. Tell me, do you see it too? Just so I know we're on the same page, do you see a man with eyes in his body? You do? Then I'm not so crazy after all. This clip was sent in to us by someone who claims to be suffering from a similar situation. Now, I know I already called myself a skeptic, but I find it hard to believe this is real. It's possible that the person who sent the clip may be suffering from something similar, but as far as this clip is concerned, the man in the video doesn't have multiple eyes on his body. We shared the clip with a friend who's an expert in all things VFX and CGI, and he stated that the clip had been altered. The man was filmed and then some CGI was included. If you pay attention to the clip, you'll realize that it's a tad unnatural. He attributes this to the fact that the clip has been altered. Despite his strong stance, there are still some who believe that this is the real deal. They claim to have encountered such individuals and rationalize that the unnatural movements may only look like that because it was recorded on a low-quality device. What do you guys think? Now let's take a look at some rather bizarre footage from India. In this clip, there was a mysterious woman perched atop a tree and the whole situation is nothing short of perplexing. No one seems to know who she is or how she managed to get up there. What even makes it more intriguing is the fact that the branches of the tree look rather feeble, clearly not designed to hold a person's weight. Yet there she stands without a bother or care in the world. If that doesn't bother you, it doesn't bother me and the locals who live there. In one isn't an isolated incident, there's another piece of footage showing her in a similar tree-bound situation. According to the neighbors, she's something of a regular presence in the area. She spends long hours dancing and praying on these trees, usually in the mornings. But who could this woman possibly be? Is she some kind of deity, a mystical figure, or perhaps someone with unique powers? Well, the truth remains elusive, and it's yet another reminder that our world is filled with mysteries that defy easy explanations. In this particular picture taken deep in the woods, there's something rather out of the ordinary. It's a creature, and it's quite sizable, enough to make you wonder, could this be a Bigfoot? Bigfoot, of course, is a regular player in the world of cryptid sightings. But here's where it gets interesting. In the realm of unexplained phenomena, there's the occasional possibility of staged Bigfoot sightings, perhaps for the sheer fun of it. It adds a layer of uncertainty to the mix. So that brings us to the big question. Is this creature the real deal? An actual Bigfoot? Or just someone having a bit of fun in a costume? Tell us what you think. Do you remember the peculiar anomaly that caught our attention in Africa at the beginning of April? Well, it's resurfaced again, but this time it was observed near Antarctica, not too far from South Africa. Reports suggest that huge waves were seen swamping over the area, which is quite intriguing. However, further investigation reveals that such waves are not entirely uncommon in South Africa. Similar occurrences have been reported in locations like Queensbury Bay in East London. A user on one of our platforms made a profound input on the subject. Someone needs to look up this old video. Something like 15 years ago, there was a satellite image of waves reaching over 100 feet. It was in this area. That's why cargo ships don't travel the roof directly across South America. Ships get ripped apart. 
I'm sure there is something going on, but this has been well documented for decades. I remember the video was well from cargo ships of waves covering these massive ships. Naturally, the masses believe something odd is happening here, perhaps a secret government project causing these strange occurrences. They still hold on to the idea that even if it's not a government project, the government is covering things up. Our scientists tell it that these waves are caused by a combination of factors, including strong winds, ocean currents, and underwater topography. This causes them to sometimes reach heights of over 30 meters, making them a significant danger to ships and other vessels. So are these waves just waves, or could there be more to them? Has your food ever tried to escape from your plate? I'm not talking about live food, no. I mean a freshly prepared meal. Well, no. Take a look at this clip. Yep, this is real. We did our research and confirmed the clip was very authentic. So what are we dealing with here? Well, a number of individuals believe the meat is possessed. While that sounds interesting, I'm actually wondering why spirits would want to possess meat. Does it have some nutritional value, or does it allow them access to the bodies of those who consume it? Well, that will be interesting to ponder. It turns out it's not really the case. After some hours of researching, we found out what you are seeing on your screens is now perfectly normal. It turns out that whenever freshly chopped animal meat appears to move, it's often due to nerve endings that haven't completely died yet. Even after an animal is slaughtered, some nerve impulses can still fire off, causing muscles to contract and twitch. This phenomenon can make it seem like the meat is moving, just like we are seeing, but it's just the result of residual nerve activity. Additionally, certain chemical reactions and electrical impulses within the muscle tissues can contribute to these movements. It's more common in freshly slaughtered meat and tends to subside as the meat begins to cool and rigor mortis sets in. What do you think, though? Do you agree? Well, some in the original post didn't think so. Take a look at some of my favorite comments. Take a look at what some believe to be the North American Great Ape. This footage was captured in a lush green forest. In the forest stands a tall ape-like creature with brown fur and an angry expression charging towards something that has clearly provoked it. It appears to be stumbling, mouth wide open, as if anticipating a moment of violence and perhaps secretly wishing for a supernatural escape. It's hard to tell what was going through its mind, but that's one big ape with surprisingly human features. What's more, it's moving like a human would. I don't know about you, but I'm leaning toward the possibility of this being a Bigfoot. What thinkest thou? And now here is a true mystery to ponder. In this image, we see what looks like the back of a creature. Can you identify it? Do you know its name and species? Do you know any rare facts about it? If you do, then your task is simple. Name what it is, give us a rare fact about, and we'll review it. If you're indeed right, your name shall be immortalized among the few names of individuals on this channel who have succeeded in identifying our bonus content. When writing out your answer, start with bonus footage so we easily identify it among the comments. The answer with the most accurate description with the most convincing reason will win a feature in our next video. All the best. According to reports, an alleged UFO crash occurred in Russia in 1937. The incident involved extraterrestrial beings, and some of their bodies were recovered from the crash site. However, these beings were already dead. The incident was initially kept under wraps, but over time, people began talking about it, and some footage has emerged that is believed to be evidence of the incident. The footage shows the corpse of a being lying on the ground. However, what's interesting is that the being appears to look eerily similar to an emaciated human body rather than a stereotypical image of an alien we often see in movies. The being's physical features include long fingers, a large head, and an elongated body. The video has sparked a lot of debate, with many people in the comments section suggesting that the being may not be alien after all. Naturally, the incident is one of many that have fueled speculation about the existence of extraterrestrial life and the possible interactions with humans. While the truth about this incident may never be fully known, it remains intriguing. 
So what do you think? Is this an actual alien or just a hoax? Moving away from aliens, what are your thoughts on beings living in the underground, aka our sewage systems? Sounds comical, right? Well, how'd you explain this? Yep, these were captured by everyday folk like you and I. These are random encounters that showed individuals or people picking things from the surface world. I know it sounds funny, but there have been many instances like this. What do you think might be going on in such situations? Some have suggested their kids playing, but that wouldn't make sense. Which parent would allow their kids to play in the sewage systems? How did they get there in the first place? Others have also suggested that they may be demons trying to make it to the surface world. Now, this seems like it's overreaching a bit. If demons can escape hell, I doubt our sewage systems would be capable of holding them. Forgive me for sounding pessimistic, but I'm just thinking through these facts. What do you guys think, though? Could there be a reason why these things are coming up, or do you think the entire thing is a hoax? Please share your thoughts in the comments section. Encounters with creatures like Bigfoot are the stuff of legends and campfire tales, but for one man in Tennessee, it became a very real and unforgettable experience. <laughs> It all began with strange vocalizations echoing through the lush green lands, a haunting combination of howls and growls. Intrigued, the man decided to follow the eerie sounds. His journey led him to a set of enormous footprints in the mud, tracks that were far too large to belong to a human. The discovery added an extra layer of mystery and intrigue to the situation. As he was inspecting the prince, the man's heart must have raced when he heard rustling leaves in the brush ahead. He turned to find himself face to face with a peeking Bigfoot. The creature stared at him, a moment frozen in time before vanishing into the woods. Have you ever wondered what Bigfoot sounded like? Does it speak intelligibly? If it does, does it sound Irish, British, or perhaps even Italian? These questions have plagued my mind for a long time, and this next footage is perhaps an answer to that. What the f*** is that noise? Did you hear that? The uploader of the footage states that they are Bigfoot vocalizations from the area where he lives. Bigfoot sightings have been regular there, and if anything, the sightings have increased. They hear these vocalizations. While this is certainly not what I expected, it's certainly an answer. One question still remains. Is this authentic? If it is, is this the only sound they actually make, or is there more? Religion is often seen as a counterattack against evil forces, at least that's what many religious people believe. They practice rituals like praying, attending mass, and reading sacred texts such as the Bible or the Quran, believing these acts protect them from dark entities. El Señor esté con ustedes y con tu espíritu. Back in 2022, something truly chilling happened in Chihuahua, Mexico, that got people talking. El Señor esté con ustedes y, y con tu espíritu. During a mass, while a priest was reading from the Bible, a loud echoing scream pierced the air. It sounded like a man's voice desperately crying out for help. The eerie sound was so disturbing that they could see the priest and everyone on the podium turn to look back, visibly shaken. The video doesn't show where the scream came from, but it left the congregation and viewers online deeply unsettled. Some people believe it might have been a sign of a tormented soul or even a dark entity reacting to the holy reading. El Señor esté con ustedes y, y con tu espíritu. 
Kurtz was in Japan with her family on a night out. They were just taking a stroll, she, her husband, and their two sons. The boys were standing by a sakura tree while their father filmed them when suddenly he noticed something strange in the video. <laughs> <laughs> On one of the boy's legs, there was a pale hand gripping him from behind. The boy didn't seem to feel anything, didn't move, didn't see it, but his father did. Panicked, he rushed over, but by the time he got there, the hand had vanished. He looked around the tree, but there was nothing in sight. When Dark Secrets posted the video, the comments section blew up with theories. One commenter said it might be an Ashwang, but traditionally, Ashwangs are floating heads and aren't known to have hands. Another commenter suggested it was a Duende, a type of mischievous spirit. Others speculated that it could be an entity from the tree, something attaching itself to the boy. Japan is famous for its haunting folklore and eerie encounters, so could that be the case here? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section. Still on Bigfoot, let's dive into another piece of evidence in the ongoing quest to uncover the elusive Bigfoot. In this particular image, although it's not crystal clear, you can still make out some intriguing details. Here we have what appears to be a brown-furred Bigfoot standing tall in all its colossal splendor. The creature seems to be gazing downward, and there's even what looks like a sizable rock near its leg. Now, when it comes to Bigfoot, there have been countless images and videos, with some turning out to be hoaxes. But this image, well, it does seem to have an air of authenticity, doesn't it? It's one of those instances where it's tough to brush it off as just a person in a costume. Picture this, you're out in the woods enjoying a peaceful nap among the trees when something stirs in the leaves nearby. Your curiosity peaked, you turn to investigate, and what you see takes your breath away. Now stop imagining and pay attention to the footage. There, amidst the towering trees, stands a massive figure. It's as tall as the trees themselves and covered in dark brown fur, which allows it to blend in seamlessly with the forest. Seeing a creature that big lurking around the same location you are in and being aware of the fact that you're in the forest alone with it is a sight that could make your heart skip a beat. The uploader felt no different and decided to record what he was seeing. A lot of things raced through his mind as he did. Perhaps, if he didn't live, this could serve as evidence of what had taken his life, and if he lived, he have evidence to show the rest of the world how dangerous that part of the woods is. Watching the footage now, we're glad he recorded, but just what is it? You don't have to be a paranormal expert to know that that's definitely a Bigfoot. Which are the creatures that tall with a human-like gait and fur all over it? It's definitely a Bigfoot. What do you think? Here we go with another viral video in the ongoing saga of strange rubbery foods. I want to tag Frito-Lay or whoever make this Lay's, whoever. But look at these shits when I open them up. I bit one and this is rubber. They're rubber. In this footage, a man shares his recent purchase from Walmart, a bag of Lay's chips. But when he opens the bag and feels the chips, something's not right. Instead of the familiar crispy texture, these chips feel oddly rubbery, almost like they're made of something other than potatoes. The bizarre texture has left many people concerned and puzzled. How could something as ordinary as a bag of chips end up feeling like rubber? Is this a manufacturing error, or could there be something more concerning going on with our food supply? This isn't the first time we've seen reports of rubber-like foods, but each new instance adds to the growing list of questions. What do you think could be causing this strange phenomenon? Have you ever experienced something similar with your food? Share your thoughts and the experiences in the comments. Look how they sound in this bag. They sound like chips in the bag, but these are rubber. I need answers. 
from here. It looks like a triangle. It is a triangle with a red light in the middle. Wow. Wow. That's a weird looking trap. It is. The red light is right in the center of the triangle. This intriguing footage was captured by a couple in Canada while out one evening. They noticed something unusual in the sky, a strange-looking craft slowly moving above them. What made this sighting even more peculiar was the craft's appearance. At its center, there was a red light blinking steadily as it moved through the sky. The couple couldn't quite make out what it was, but the craft's unusual shape and eerie glow of the light left them a little unsettled. What do you think? Could this be evidence of extraterrestrial activity, or is there a more mundane explanation for this mysterious craft? Now this is where you need to zoom in. <laughs> There's something right beside us here. Our next clip was taken by a security camera, which may have captured two crimes. Take a look. So, here's the deal. The security camera picked up a man strolling away with a child who was throwing a pretty serious tantrum. Meanwhile, approaching from the other direction was a woman holding a bag. As she gets closer, things took a bit of an unexpected turn. You see, the handle of her bag slipped and its contents spilled right onto the ground. Now here's where it gets interesting. The color of the footage gives everything a rather suspicious tint. You might even think there's blood on the ground, and that strange man with the upset child? Well, he starts to look like he could be up to no good, possibly involved in some sort of kidnapping, right? In fact, all who saw the footage thought the same thing. But here's where it takes a twist. After some investigation in the neighborhood, it turns out that things are not what they seem. That man, he's the child's father and the tantrum, just a case of a little one having a tough day. And as for the lady with the bag, she's not a serial killer. No, she was simply carrying some oil that accidentally spilt. So don't worry, no crimes were committed here. It's a good reminder that appearances can sometimes be quite deceiving. And what we initially see on security cameras might not always be the full story. You start watching this video and at first you only see one person on the camera. In the background, in the darkness, you spot some freaky stuff going on. Objects seem to be floating in the air and it's enough to give you goosebumps. But wait, when you take a closer look, you realize these things are actually dolls of different skin colors hanging by a thread. There's one with dark skin and the others are white. Creepy, right? If you follow this channel, you know that sometimes the spirits of demons are trapped in dolls like this and left out the way you were seeing. Could this whole area be made up of dolls with demons trapped in them? It's hard to tell. Even the one filming doesn't know what's happening, but he does state that there was an eerie presence. He even felt one of those dolls tell him to leave. When it got overwhelming, he left to return with someone else to investigate another time. What do you think of the whole thing? Would you explore an area like this, or would you avoid it like the plague? Because, well, I know I would. For this footage, I'm tempted to say so much, but perhaps I should let you do the talking on this one. You see the creature swimming, right? Do you have any idea of what creature or animal it could possibly be? Personally, I can't tell, but the uploader of the footage believes it's either a hippo or a mermaid. Yeah, you heard right, a hippo or a mermaid. Now, before you pick one of these two, you should know that the footage was recorded in the ocean. And, well, you're more likely to find and hang out with a mermaid than you are to find a hippo swimming in the ocean. But with that said, I'd like to ask, what do you think that creature was? Speaking of ginormous creatures, have a good look at this next one. Yep, that's an actual wolf, and no, it's not a normal-sized wolf, but a gigantic one. In the footage, the wolf looks like it's roaming the area the footage was taken and having fun.
In the initial seconds of the footage, it looks like it's a normal size, but as the one filming gets closer and the wolf draws night, it becomes apparent that's no normal wolf. But are there any records of wolves that size? Well, we didn't actually think so, but it turns out there's actually a cryptid known as the saber wolf or wahila that's known to inhabit the north and western part of the United States. And guess where this footage was reportedly taken? Alaska. And yes, it's in the northwestern part of the United States. So do you think we're dealing with the real thing, or could something else be going on here? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section. Oh, and oh, if you do live in Alaska, could you confirm if you have seen these things or at least heard the rumors about them? We'd love to hear from you, even if it's a no. No, that's not a real-life dragon, and no, it's not a genetically modified creature either. Yes, it's real. It's called a flying lizard. Flying lizards, also called dracos or gliding lizards, belong to the agamid lizard family in the animal kingdom. They're capable of gliding flight using membranes known as paragia, which are created by an enlarged set of ribs. They are orbeal insectivores and highly territorial. They typically claim one or a few trees as their home, fiercely guarded by their males. They're known to live in tropical rainforests. Found across Southeast Asia and Southern India, these creatures are fairly common in forests, areek gardens, teak plantations, and shrub jungles, and are nearly never found lingering on the forest floor. So as much as I'd want to tell you something dangerous is happening here, that creature doesn't pose a threat to anyone if you leave it alone. Relax, the dragons aren't here yet. Do you believe in angels? Well, if you didn't, this next footage will challenge your beliefs. This video was supposedly recorded on a surveillance camera in China. The footage captures cars on the road during what appears to be an ordinary evening. As ordinary as the footage starts, something extraordinary occurs. If you pay attention, you'll see a big white truck heading towards a person crossing the road. The truck driver doesn't notice, but just before he runs over the individual running on the bike, something supernatural happens. And it happens so fast that I'm sure not many noticed it. Just before the bike was run over by the truck driver, a human, or at least I think it's a human with supernatural abilities, moves in with the speed of light, grabs the man, and seemingly teleports to the other side. The rescued man is as equally confused as we are. The rescuer is kind enough to make sure the man is safe before leaving. Is this proof of superheroes living amongst us? Many who have seen this footage think so. Others think it might be an angel. What about you? What do you think? Also, have you seen, experienced, or heard such an encounter? Care to share? A farmer recently shared intriguing footage online, claiming to have captured something unusual on his property. In the video, a small creature can be seen walking on two legs with humanoid features but an oddly shaped oversized hat. The farmer believes the creature is a duende, a mythical creature known in various cultures, often depicted as a small mischievous being. However, not everyone is convinced. Julius, for instance, argues that this footage could simply be a product of AI manipulation or digital trickery. Given the rise in AI-generated content, it's becoming harder to differentiate between what's real and what's artificial. So what do you think? Could this be a real duende sighting, or is it another case of digital coaxing? And with that, we end today's episode. Thanks for staying with us. Before you go with our clips and videos you think we should have featured by now that we haven't, well, the good news is you can share them with us and we'll post them crediting you. Please send any such footage, including ones you recorded yourself, to us via classifiedcaptures at gmail.com. We'll do our thing and include it in our next episode. We can't wait to receive what you have. Share this video with someone you love, and I'll see you in the next one.